Hey everybody, my name is Dira Mistry. I work at the John Barrett Salon at Bergdorf Goodman. And I'm here today with Andrea, and I'm going to show Andrea today how to achieve the beachy wave look. Okay, with this look, you're going to want to take the hair in sections. And today we're going to use a curling iron this size, just to get some nice curl in the hair. So the idea is to set the hair with some curl and then brush it out. So what you want to do is to curl the hair all in the similar direction. And then when you brush it out, it will give that beachy wave look. I'm going to work today from the bottom of the head, working our way upwards. So if you take your hair and just section out the back from underneath your ears, just across from, from ear to ear, like so. And with the hair that I'm not going to be working on, I'm just going to tie it out the way so we can have a nice clean section. So always remember to completely dry the hair before you use a curling iron. Um, there are many, many circumstances when people use curling irons like these on wet hair and they burn the hair and they damage the hair. And there's already a very, very famous video on YouTube where a girl burns her hair and it falls off completely. So you don't want to be that girl. So taking sections maybe about an inch and a half wide and with this, because we're going to create the beachy look, we want the waves to come back off the face. So as I put the curling iron in towards the root, I just start to spin the curling iron, loosely feeding the hair through it, sewing so as to get a curl all the way through to the ends of the hair. Once you have the ends in, just hold it for a, a second. And as I let it out, I'm just going to unravel it. And there you have a curl. Again, put the curling iron in towards the root. Spin the curling iron around. So as the hair feeds around in the curling iron, it stays flat. And this will give you a nice, smooth, so what I would do with to achieve this look is to think about the head in two halves. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one side all the same direction and the other side all the opposite direction. So as you can see I've worked to the middle of the head and I'm going to keep working up to the middle and then we'll work on the other side. Again, taking very clean sections and pinning out, pinning the hair that we're not using out the way. Taking a clean section, not too thick, placing the curling iron in and directing the curl away from the head. Spinning the curling iron all you need to do is just lift, pressing this, lift, lift it up and it sets the hair loose. Again, always be careful not to hold the iron too close to your ear or to your neck because I, that's the first place that you will burn yourself. So you have to be very careful not to hold the iron too close to the head. Now, depending on the hair length as well, you might want to use a bigger or smaller iron and it will give you a different different size wave. We want to create a beachy wave today so we're keeping the curls kind of small. So as you let the hair out just unravel it. It doesn't need to be difficult to achieve. So placing the irons in at the root and just twisting the curling irons around. A lot of people wrap the curling iron around, wrap the hair around the curling iron, and that will give you a much more dented curl and tends to look very, very fake. So I like to feed the curl, feed the hair into the curling iron, and that's what gives you that smooth, that smooth look. Also, some people like to put the hair in at the bottom and curl it up that way. 
The ends of your hair are more porous and they get damaged a lot easier. So if the ends are put in first and they stay in all the way to the top, you're gonna burn the hair. So I would always start at the, at the top where the hair's healthiest and work your way down. So now I'm working on the other side. Once we have done one side, they're all in the same direction, all sitting down. We're just gonna let them sit loosely. I don't want the curls to be too tight, so I'm not gonna pin them or place them anyway. I'm just gonna let them sit there and cool down. So on this side, I'm gonna work in the opposite direction. Okay, so as you can see, worked in opposite directions. This side's gone all the way this way, and this side's gone all the way back. Now we're at the top. What, um, what I'd like to do is to find the natural part. So looking in the mirror, we can just let the hair fall and see where Andrea's hair wants to fall naturally. So we'll just let it, let it do what it wants, and then we have it. So that's where her hair wants to part. So I'm still gonna carry on working this way on that side and the opposite way on the other. So as you can see, we're keeping the part, but I'm just working my way back, just getting these curls on the top, just to sit the same as, as the sides. Now, if your hair is very, very straight and doesn't like to hold curl, what you could do is after every section you take, just spray it down with a little bit of hairspray to set those, those curls. Andrea's hair really takes curl very well, so I'm not gonna spray it until maybe towards the end. So there you have it. The curls are all set. Andrea's hair's all directioned this way on that side and the opposite way on the other. So now what we're gonna do is just pull that out. We're gonna brush it out, because obviously you don't wanna walk around looking like Goldilocks all day long. So to create that wave, I'm just gonna ask Andrea to tilt her head back for me. As you can see, you have all the curls. And then we're just gonna rake your fingers through, pulling all those curls out. So don't worry, you spent all that time trying to get a lovely curl in the hair, but we need to brush them out to create the wave. Just using my fingers very gently, pulling all those curls out. And then what we wanna do afterwards is lift the head up and then just brush the hair forward and you just use your fingers to create the finished look. And there we have it. That's how you create a beachy wave.